What's up guys, Pro Football Maniacs here, and today we will be talking about the three teams who we think will bounce back in the 2014 season after having not the very best season or the worst season in the NFL last year in the 2013 season. And now we're very excited that the NFL regular season has begun and we're especially off to a great start in the 2014 season. Anyway guys, let's talk about the three teams who we think will bounce back. Break it down. That will bounce back in the 2014 season. Okay, this is undebatable. We picked the Atlanta Falcons to bounce back this year after having a terrible season last year, only going 4 and 12. And obviously, which is not the best record. Anyway, they fixed up most of their problems, especially in the defense and the offense. Last year, Matt Ryan wasn't able to get as many yards as usual compared to the 2012 season where they went off to a great start and a great finish for the Atlanta Falcons franchise. But anyway, this year, they fixed up all of those small problems resulting last year. Now they got big, big wide receivers. Julio Jones back on the field. Roddy White and Devin Hester. Devin Hester is one big game changer. When Matt Ryan throws the ball to Devin Hester, Devin Hester creates big plays for the Falcons. And that is one big key thing that Matt Ryan can do to get Atlanta Falcons a successful win. And sorry for the Falcons, but unfortunately, they've lost arguably the best tight end in the NFL League who has retired. But now, Levine Toilolo has come back and he will take Tony Gonzalez's position. And obviously, after seeing him play against the Saints, he, he has a great start. And uh, being a starting tight end after replacing, arguably, again, one of the best tight ends in the NFL League, he came off to a great start. And then you got Steven Jackson and Jaquiz Rogers. Both had a great game against the Saints. And definitely, Falcons have pulled off to a great season this year. And we think if they can continue the success, they can reach the playoffs. Anyway, we think the Houston Texans will have a great season and will bounce back after having the worst season ever last year, going 2-14. and And the Houston Texans went through so much after firing head coach Gary Kubiak and then facing many injuries on the team. But now, the Houston Texans have figured out many of their mistakes last season. First of all, they've hired a new head coach, Bill O'Brien. And then obviously, their defensive coordinator, Romeo Crandall, could not be any happier with whom he has on his line, especially. But now, one thing is, Jadavon Clowney is going through knee surgery right now after the Sunday game, but the Houston's still resulted in a win, which is great for them for the start of the 2014 season after coming off a terrible season last season. Anyway, then you got big JJ Watt. He's gonna be a big game change maker. But anyway, they've got much more on their hands now after last year's season, and they've fixed all of that. Obviously, the, you have Ryan Fitzpatrick as your quarterback, and Arian Foster. We think that he's going to have a good season later on, but right now he's still recovering from an injury, <clears throat> so he might not get as many statistics and all that stuff as good as last year. But anyway, and then you got DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick needs to use him a lot, and Andre Johnson, both great wide receivers, which the Houston Texans can use this year to have a successful season. And the Houston Texans, we think, will bounce back and we, we think we'll have a great season. Last but not least, we picked the Minnesota Vikings to have the, a great season this year and they will bounce back in the 2014 season after having a terrible season last season. That's all we can say. But this season, their quarterback situation has improved but it's still struggling a little. First of all, it's still Matt Castle, but now their draft pick, Teddy Bridgewater. And now Teddy Bridgewater, he is showing some talent, but Matt Castle is still in the starting position. And then now, every the Vikings are under Mike Zimmer, head coach, and we're looking at many improvements this season, 
and the Vikings have already pulled off to a great start, beating the Rams, and now who are 1-0. and The Rams have a very powerful defense, and the Vikings managed to survive past their defense, which is a very good sign for a future great team. But anyway, let's see their wide receivers. Both quarterbacks, Teddy Bridgewater and Matt Castle, will definitely use Cordell Patterson a lot, a very talented wide receiver on the Minnesota team. But last year, his talents just couldn't be proven. But this year, we think he will have a great season with the Vikings. And then Greg Jennings, another great, great, great wide receiver. And then their tight end, Kyle Rudolph. This looks like a powerful team, and they're going to have a great season this year. Thanks for watching, guys, and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Both usernames are ProFootballM. And if we see many more followers and growers into our channel, we will definitely start more challenges for all of you and make this channel even better than what it is. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. Subscribe and like, and see you guys.